This chapter will look at how a computer system's performance is affected by the choice of CPU, RAM and graphical processing units. So I just thought I'd include these two tables to make a few things clear to you while you're going through this lesson. For example, if you were to buy a CPU that was 2.6 GHz in speed, then that would be better than something that's 400 megahertz in speed and I just think that this information is quite important and you just want to look at these tables and familiarize yourself with the units just in case you're unaware of them. We already know how important a CPU can be to a computer system. As mentioned in the earlier chapter about CPUs there are three things affecting its performance. Clock speed, the number of cores and the cache size. Clock speed is the number of instructions the processor can complete in one second. It is measured in hertz or hz for short. It's measured in gigahertz usually in modern times. The higher the number of hertz, the faster the CPU can run. CPUs can get very hot and need a cooling system to ensure they do not overheat. An example of a clock speed could be 3.2 gigahertz. A CPU can have multiple cores. In modern times, we commonly have CPUs with quad core or up to eight cores inside one CPU. Each core in a CPU can process data independently. The more cores, the more instructions it can process. The advantage is like it's having four, five, six, or even eight CPUs, but they don't need extra space or separate power for each one. All cores are not always used, so it doesn't have to make, make it eight times as fast. For example, you could have a CPU with eight cores. However, the software is not designed to operate on all cores. Therefore, it might ne not necessarily be faster. This is difficult as different systems have different number of cores, so it is hard to design software to work on all of them. We've already learned about cache in the CPU. Basically, cache stores commonly used instructions, so this can speed up the system. The larger the cache, the faster the CPU can run. There are three levels of cache memory, L1, L2 and L3. L1 is the fastest, but is the smallest amount of memory. L2 is slower, but there is more of it. L3 is even slower again, but is bigger again. So that's the CPU covered. Let's move on to memory. The more RAM you have, the faster and smoother the system will run. The more RAM you have, the more programs you can run at once, or you can run more powerful programs. RAM can be upgraded with more and more with faster versions. If you upgrade your RAM, it will improve system performance dramatically, especially if you're seeing a lot of virtual memory getting used and your system running slowly. In contrast, it's important to know that you might not necessarily see system performance improved by increasing the RAM if you're not regularly seeing your system run slow or not running a lot of programs. Examples of the amount of RAM you might have in your computer system could be 2 gigabytes, 4 gigabytes, or 8 gigabytes of RAM memory. Finally, another thing affecting system performance is the GPU, or graphical processing unit. Modern graphics cards plug into the motherboard and often have their own CPU and RAM to perform mathematical calculations for 3D images and to create color depth. This is needed for the huge detail in modern gaming. By improving or upgrading your graphical processing unit, you can speed up the performance of your system significantly, particularly while playing on computer games. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please like and subscribe. Bye.